Hello, I'm Joseph Coilo. I'm the Waterstones Children's Laureate. I'm an author and poet, and it's a pleasure to be working with Apples and Snakes for the Spine Festival Kindness Poetry Writing Competition. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on ways that you can very simply create your very own kindness poems. I've got three different ways that you can create a kindness poem. Okay, let's go. I'm going to share my screen to show you what you can do. One of the first things you can do is to create a very simple poem called an acrostic poem. Now, I'm sure you've come across acrostic poems before. They simply use one word, you put one word vertically down the side of the page, like I've done here on your screens now, and then you use each letter from that word to begin each sentence of your poem. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters in the word kindness, which means this will lead to an eight line poem. Do remember that for this competition, you can write a maximum of 15 lines. So you do need to bear that in mind when creating your poems. OK, so I've got the word kindness down the side, ready for my acrostic poem. Here is my kindness acrostic poem. It goes like this. Kindness arrives quietly. It lives in you and me. Natural part of society. Decency sets us free. Never let meanness find you. Every good thought contains a good deed. Share the joy that is within you. Sow your own kindness seed. So that was a very simple poem that I created just by thinking about what kindness means to me and uh, how wonderful I think kindness is and how I think it's a, a great thing for society. The more kind that we are to each other and, and to ourselves, then the better society becomes. You might have noticed that I use rhyme in that poem as well. You can use rhyme in your poem, but you don't have to. Remember that rhyme is simply a tool that we use when and if we want to. One good way of using rhyme is to get a rhyming dictionary or there are rhyming websites uh, that you can find online where you can look up a word and find words that rhyme with that word. So you can see I've got pairs of rhymes here, but they are intersected. So the first line ends in quietly and that rhymes with the third line that ends in society. The second line ends with me and that rhymes with the fourth line that ends with free. So I sort of mixed the rhymes up so every other line rhymes. So you can do that or not. You can totally have a non-rhyming poem. But that's the first challenge to create an acrostic poem. I find acrostic poems are great to get you thinking about a subject, um, to get you thinking about different ways that you could approach your poem. So I see this really as a, as, a, as a great first draft, a great way to sort of get yourself thinking about what kindness means to you. And it might lead to other ideas that turn into other poems. If you want more of a challenge, another way that you can create your own kindness poem is by writing a maostic poem. Now, a maostic is very similar to an acrostic, but instead of writing the word kindness down one side of the page, you write it down the middle, like I have done here. It's a little bit more challenging because now you've got to find words that can incorporate each letter from the word kindness, like this. When I was just a kid, I struggled with my laces. During PE, Everyone tied their laces before me. I struggled with the loops and knots, a tangled mess. Then one sunny day, my classmate Mark showed me how to dance my laces, how to weave them together so that I would never miss a step, hop or jump. He showed me how to string a friendship from laces. I quite like that poem. I like the fact that it doesn't rhyme. I like that it also uses a memory, a real memory I have of, uh, from my childhood of when I couldn't tie my laces and a classmate of mine showed me how. He sat down in the classroom when everyone else had gone out for PE. He sat down, he was very patient, and he showed me how to tie my laces. And I still tie my laces now because of the lesson that Mark taught me many, many, many years ago, a lesson in how to tie your laces. Maybe you could create a kindness poem based on a memory you have of someone being kind to you or you being kind to someone else or an act of kindness that you have seen. 
What I also like about a maostic poem, when you've got the word going down the centre, is that it forces you to uh, use words in slightly different ways because you've got to find words that can incorporate the letters from your main central word. So as you can see, some of the words um, in my sentences start with the letter from kindness. So in the first line, I've got the word kid, which starts with the letter K, the K of kindness. But then in, in the second line, I've got the word tide. And so the I of kindness is in the middle of the word tide. So that makes it a little bit more tricky, but all the more fun. A nice way of doing this is to write what you want to say and then see if you can find a letter, uh, find a word with the letter that you need to incorporate already in it. And if not, then you can try changing words using a thesaurus, a thesaurus where you look up words and find other words uh, that mean the same thing, but obviously a different word. So you might be able to find a different word that gives you the same meaning, but has a, a totally different spelling. And so enables you to use the word, uh, the letter properly within the poem. So that's two ways that you can write a poem, an acrostic, or a maostic. And now the third way is by using the more raps. Now the more raps are a way of thinking about poetry, of getting you thinking about poetic devices. I wrote the more raps many years ago. It's a poem that describes different poetic devices. I'm going to read it to you now and then we're going to go over what those different poetic devices are and you can use those devices when writing your poem. The more raps. The more raps are a trick to help with your writing. They add a kick to language, make writing more exciting. M is for metaphor, saying one thing is another. The sun is an oven. The earth is everyone's mother. O is for onomatopoeia. Words are also sounds. Whoosh went the wind and howl went the hound. R is for rhyme. Words that sound the same. You can put a cat in a hat or simply try rhyming your name. E is for emotion, happy, worried, sad. Great writing shares a feeling from the good to the bad. The other R is for repetition, but don't repeat any old word. Find a phrase with a musical rhythm that sounds like a song from a bird. A is for alliteration, words sharing the same starting letter used in the tongue twister that made Betty's bitter batter better. P is for personification, human features used to describe a thing. I looked to the sky and saw the sun's bright shining grin. S is for simile, using as and like to compare. For instance, when my mother gets angry, she snarls like a rampaging bear. The more raps are a wonderful way to add a punch to your writing. Master them like a juggler. Make your words ripe for the biting. Did you hear all those different poetic devices in the poem? Maybe they got you thinking, maybe some of those words were new to you. Well, don't worry, I'm going to go through what the different poetic devices are. So the M of the more raps stood for metaphor. A metaphor is when we say something is something else. Something is something else. So what I'm going to do, I've got a sheet of paper just down here. I'm going to write a metaphor for kindness. What is another thing I could say kindness is? I could say kindness is uh, a sunny day. Nice and simple. Kindness is a sunny day. So that would be the first line of my more raps poem. Kindness is a sunny day and I've used a metaphor. The second word, the second letter of the more raps is O, and that of course stands for onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia simply means words that are sounds like boom, bang, crash, meow, woof. Can you think of a line about kindness that uses some sound words? So I might say, kindness makes my heart boom. Kindness makes my heart boom and so the word boom is my onomatopoeic word my sound word so i've got two lines now about kindness using one using metaphor and one using onomatopoeia the second word in the more raps is rhyme and we all know what rhyme is words that sound the same so what rhyme could i make up for kindness 
kindness makes my day uh i feel kindness in every single way no i can do better than that <laughs> kindness is great i'm kind to my mates <laughs> kindness makes me feel great kindness is great for me and my mates kindness is great for me and my mates Kindness is great for me and my mates. So that's a very simple rhyme there. Kindness is great for me and my mates. E, the E stands for emotion. Emotion, we all know what emotions are and feelings. Happiness, feeling sad, feeling scared, worried, nervous. Can you think of a line? about kindness that uses an emotion. Uh, kindness fills me up with joy. I am filled with joy. I am filled with joy. I am filled with joy. I'm just gonna say, I'm not gonna use the word kindness. I'm just gonna say, I am filled with joy. I am filled with joy. And you don't need to worry about these lines too much. It's just a quick way of getting ideas down, of using different poetic devices to create a first draft, which we can then edit and change to make into an even stronger poem. The R of the more apps stands for repetition. Is there a word or phrase that you can repeat in a line? Um, I might say, I smile, I smile, I smile. I smile. I smile, so I'm repeating this phrase, I smile. That's my phrase, my sentence that uses repetition. Now, the next letter of the more apps is A for alliteration, words that share the same starting letter. I have to get lots of words, I think, with kindness in there. So I might say kindness, kindness kicks, kindness kicks, kicks kicks my sadness not kindness kicks and creeps that's a c those in one got a k's kindness kicks my worry not my kindness kicks my worry not so i've got lots of words not every single word just lots of words that start with the same letter kindness kicks my worry not P is for personification, words used to describe a thing as if it were a person. So if kindness was a person, what kind of person would it be? Uh, would it dance down the street? Would kindness always be stopping to help people? I think I put that kindness. Kindness can't go two paces without stopping to help. I like that. Kindness can't walk two paces without stopping to help. And then the final S is, of course, the simile. Can you think of a simile for kindness? Similes are when we use like or as to compare. So I could say kindness is like, or kindness is as wonderful as. I might say kindness is like ice cream on a hot day. Oh, I dropped my pen lid, but that's okay. <laughs> Kindness is like ice cream on a hot day. So I haven't spent too much time worrying about these lines. I'm just getting them down so that I can get my thoughts out. So here's my first draft. And this is a very much a first draft of a kindness poem using the more app. So I've got a line that uses a metaphor, a line that uses onomatopoeia, a line that uses rhyme and so on. And I've got an eight line poem, which goes like this. Kindness is a sunny day. Kindness makes my heart boom. Kindness is great for me and my mates. I am filled with joy. I smile, I smile, I smile. Kindness kicks my worry knots. Kindness can't walk two paces without stopping to help. Kindness is like ice cream on a hot day.
that's my kindness poem my first draft of my kindness poem to make it into a second draft and a third draft and a fourth draft I would underline some of the lines or phrases that I like that jump out at me. I might change the order around. I don't have to worry about the order of the more raps. I can, once I've got the poem and the lines, I can change them around. I could start with kindness is like ice cream on a hot day. I could start with my simile and put that to the top. I could equally start with, I smile, I smile, I smile. That could be a really nice opening line for a kindness poem. So I can switch things around. I can take words out. I can add words in. I can add lines. This is an eight line poem. You've got 15 lines to work with for the competition. So you, you could add more lines. You don't have to do 15 lines. That's the maximum. So you could have um, more than eight lines or less than eight lines even. But what I like about just getting your ideas down on the page using the more apps is that straight away, you've got lots of poetic devices to play with. So we've got emotion, we've got joy to play with here. We've got boom, that onomatopoeic word that we can use. We've got uh, rhyme, kindness is great for me and my mates. I might decide to make the whole poem rhyme. I might decide to take the rhyme out and have no rhyme. I've got alliteration, kindness kicks my worry knots. Maybe I can make that alliterative line even longer. So there's lots of different ways that you can play with the more apps to add texture to, to your poem, to make your poem lift, to make it jump right off the page. And of course, you can use some more raps for the other types of poems we've done as well. For an acrostic poem, you might wanna put some similes in your acrostic poem. You might wanna put some alliteration in your acrostic poem or in your maostic poem, where we had the word going down the center of the page. You might want to put a bit of personification in one of those lines. You might want to put some uh, emotion in one of those lines. It's all up for grabs. I hope you have fun writing your own kindness poems. Remember, you can't get it wrong. The most important thing is that you have fun creating your poem. Another good exercise would be to think about all those times that you've been kind, and I was saying this earlier, or you've met someone who was kind, or you've seen an act of kindness, because those memories might give you something else to write about as well. I wish you all the very best of luck with writing your kindness poem and I really can't wait to read the different entries that we get in and to judge the competition. It's going to be great fun. Wishing you all the very best. Bye-bye.